Hostiles reporting unsanctioned soup activity in the area. So that was just a bit of gameplay. Um, so I'm running a 3060 uh, Ti GPU and a Ryzen 7 5900. Um, and I've tried pretty much every single different type of setting. You can choose different tutorials, etc. And these are the best settings that I've found that have a good FPS rate and also um, the quality is still pretty decent. So I'm um, Currently shadow banned on my other account. Um, that's something that Activision need to fix because it seems to happen every every month or so, which is an absolute pain in the ass. So for the graphics itself, um, I have it as full screen exclusive. But if you're streaming or whatnot, you can always have it as borderless. Um, make sure that your graphics card is selected and the screen refresh rate is at its highest. Um, you want dynamic resolution off. Um, custom frame rate, I always have mine at unlimited. And then 2.2 display gamma. If you're using like a large screen TV, you'll want to have 2.4. As for quality, I have it as custom um, and also render resolution at 100. Um, upscaling and sharpening, I have it at Fidelity CAS and Fidelity CAS strength 80. Anti aliasing, SMAA T2X low and video memory scale 80 some people say have it at 90 um, it's entirely up to you i found that 80 works best for me and then in short just copy these settings and see if they work for you it might not work for you so tweak and adjust it that's what i've had to do but these give me the best result um, i've also so i've got text resolution low texture filter anti-sotropic low nearby level of detail low distant level of detail low clutter draw distance short particle quality low particle quality level very low bullet impacts on persistent damage layers off shade quality low tessellation off and on de demand texture streaming on um, i've got a pretty quick internet connection so i can get away with having that on um, but a lot of people say to turn it off but see what it's like for you streaming quality streaming quality low volumetric quality low deferred physics quality off water quality default um i mean it's it's, it's, the, it's the obvious option there uh, wave wetness i mean i'm not sure that really is going to make much of a difference because aren't waves meant to be wet anyway uh, shadow map resolution very low screen space shadows off spot shadow quality low um, and spot cash you can it, this so this is uh, entirely up to you. Uh, you can have it on low, but if you notice your game jutters and it's not as smooth as you want it to be, maybe try ultra and high and that might solve the issue. Uh, personally, I have it on ultra and it seems to do the job for me. Particle lighting low, ambient occlusion off, screen space reflections off, static reflection quality low, weather grid volumes off, depth of field off, motion, world motion blur off, weather motion blur. Um, again, um, I don't know if this is just hearsay, but I usually have it off. Um, I've tried it on and I don't think there's much of a difference, but apparently if you are having stuttering issues in the game, turn it on and see if that helps. Um, and 0.25 film grain. Uh, with the view, um, I don't mind why my field of view is set to 114. Um, this is entirely up to you how you set this up. Uh, it's all personal preference really here. Um, and really that is it and there's a few settings in the nvidia control panel
that really is all the same as I have. And um, just wait for the next update for Warzone for them to scroll up again, I suppose. 